So Scott, it looks like a great show here. I mean, it's uh, well organized. Tell us what was involved in, uh, in setting up the show and uh, how often have these shows been on before? Well, this is the first in-water boat show in southern Georgian Bay that I'm aware of. I'm sure there was one at some time, but it's a long time ago. Um, it all started off with a little dream uh, between Crates and Crates Lake Country and Pride of Muskoka and uh, Park Bridge Marina. We wanted to have a little boat show and we got together one day and we thought, well, you know, if we're going to have a boat show, why don't we have a real boat show? And we have, uh, so we did it pretty short. We started only in probably March and uh, we pulled it all off with it. We have uh, over 40 exhibitors. We have over 100 new boats and probably over 30 new used boats. We have them from paddle boards to kayaks, and we got uh, vendors selling insurance, surveyors, power boats, sailboats. So uh, we're pretty excited, and the weather has turned out really well. Yeah, I mean, the weather's fantastic. I mean, there's still a little bit of setup going on here, but it looks like uh, with the weather coming up over the next few days that this place will be packed. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot bigger than we anticipated, and uh, parking is going to be one of our main issues. But uh, that's a great thing, I think, to have too many uh, people come and and check it out, but it's a great opportunity for everyone to get into boating and see Southern Georgian Bay, whether it's a cottage or a, a cottage on the water or just a couple of canoes and kayaks to get out with the kids. Thank you, Scott. We're here in the docks of the uh, Georgian Bay Boat Show, the first in-water boat show in the area for a long time, and I ran into an old friend Chris from Crates Landing here. Uh, last time we saw Chris, who was down in Miami. Chris, how's it going for you? It's going wonderful, Mark. The uh we had a long winter, but uh, we're making up uh, for that long winter in our short order here. We got some beautiful weather going into another weekend this year. Gosh, here we are in beautiful Georgian Bay for the first time ever at In Water Boat Show. So, uh, really looking for a, a whole new contingent of people to come out and get them really wound up about this lifestyle that we all come to love so much. What are you finding in terms of sales? Are things uh, going up here just like they are in the U.S.? The sales here in our Canadian market uh, are up exponentially. Uh, I'll give you an example, mid-cabin cruisers around 36 feet. The demand is up about 400% right now. That's incredible. So the problem that we have going into this season is the demand's greater than the supply of boats. I'm here with the guys from the Owen Sound Salmon Spectacular. Uh, these are all volunteers. This is a volunteer association. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. My name's Chris Burt. This is Wayne Gallagher, and uh, we're a conservation club out of Owen Sound that has been going since the 1930s. And uh, we raise fish, we stock uh, fish, plant trees, work with the juniors, uh, deer habitat, planting trees, all kinds of conservation uh, activities. And we won the uh, All Ontario Conservation Award this year for the 14th time uh, for the work that we do throughout uh, southwestern Ontario. And what kind of fish species are you uh, stocking the lake? We're into salmon, rainbow and brown. And uh, over the years we've probably planted well over 10 million fish. And of course this is all volunteer and the fish benefit the whole bay, correct? Yeah, all, all volunteer and 100% uh, we wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't. Really appreciate the work you guys do. Thank Thanks. you. Hi, Tuggy. I'm Tuggy. That's Mark, Tuggy. Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you, Tuggy. Yeah. So where are you guys stationed out of? Brewerbuff Island, just uh, off of the bus Okay. And you're here at the show today doing some uh, boat checkups and whatnot? Yeah, pleasure craft courtesy checks to any boaters interested in having us have a look over their vessel and make sure that they've got all the required safety gear. Are you finding most people in compliance or do you usually find uh, something go wrong that's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a look at everybody's equipment and if they're missing anything, we just tell them what they should go get and uh, then they know if they get pulled over by the OPP, they're, there's no, nothing to worry about. Right, right. Yeah. And, and uh, when you're not doing safety checks and things like that, you're out on patrol and, and uh, uh, what, again, what's your, uh, what's your district that you go? Um, we cover the area from Perry Sound, uh, south to Midland. Um, Big area, but um, we stay in that 
Are you dealing often with boating emergencies and yeah? That yeah. is that is our primary role is as a search and rescue uh, unit. So right. we do this kind of public education stuff just for safety and to prevent any incidents and the rest of the time we train and train a lot more and respond to emergencies. So tell me a bit about your boat here. Um, this vessel here is a it's called a fast response craft and it is a seven and a half meter zodiac hurricane. They are designed primarily to respond in, in really rough conditions so it allows us to get out to calls um, anyone in distress quickly in, in pretty much any any foul weather. Um, usually three crew operated and as you can see there are handlebars and saddle style seats so that yeah again bad weather um, the crew can stay safe and hold on for your life sometimes right. and get their um, in good timing, so if, yeah, if people are uh, in, in a distressed situation, we can get out to them when a lot of other larger crafts can't. It also only has a draft of about two, meet, two feet, sorry, right. so any confined space we can get in closer. Uh, two separate nav stations at the back there? We have got um, one pod here is our radio control center, so whoever is operating radio sits here. And our navigation system is on the starboard side.